around there with the tide hunter he's just probably going to look to pull they could level up gush here thinking uh -oh. about trying to go for the body blocks ame in some trouble and kaka into position able to get the lift in oh they trouble. missed, they the, missed purification. the purification they should have gush coming off cooldown again this should be an easy kill but they will have to spend another 90 mana to get it now yeah. kp drawing first blood crowd happy about that and three heroes from lgd the wraparound is coming fy in position and kp may be out of position as they get the maledict onto him the cask is going to bounce they throw out a repel which is going to mitigate the damage that's there but they might still have enough the purification chase continues kp in trouble and gonna go down hmm. well, those the mind game things that always is a little bit tough to know how it would actually sure. work out x nova Gushed. Okay, he's in some trouble. They're going to be able to run him down. The cask, he bounced to the creeps instead. Purification and another right click. Pretty nice for Newbie to actually pick up that kill even without a point into Dijan or a faithful dot here. Repels himself out. Maledic will not do any damage because of the repel. And now. Oh, uh, well played there. FY well. will survive this, but very good uh, defensive play here by Faith. Yeah. Enigma can farm insanely well. Oh, SC able to dodge away from the stun, the lift up on the Rubik, it's going to be a nice turnaround stun as well. They get the repel onto the Rubik, but it's not enough to keep him alive as maybe trying to walk away, and it looks like he might just be able to do that. He still have three leaps available, he's not worried at all. Yeah. So, a pick off on the Rubik, but that was shapeshift committed. Yep. I think they really want to do so, but because uh, people poured it in, they settle for the Rubik. AP again in trouble, going to be ran down here, and... All the summons, all the everything, they take him down. It's just going to be a slow chip away here at the tower. Let's see if they could get a deny here. Oh, easy deny. Nicely done. KP walking forward, though, has the Ravage if they want to use it. So not easy for LGD to walk in and take that fight. Falcon is here in the mid lane as well. They're going to spot him out in just a second. Ame the area. They could pop the song right now if they wanted to go for it. Kaka's level 6 though. Off to the side. They catch him with the sleep. It's a really great initiation. They've dropped the black hole onto two. It's a great play as well. And they've been able to actually walk in with a third one. Faith wasn't able to get the heal off. LGD just dismantling them at this early stage. The Ravage to turn it though. And Chalice is going to be punished for this one it looks like. Does manage to get the Eidolons off. Eventually going to be killed. They take down the Omni Knight as well. Moogie's still living through this. So LGD only end up losing that Enigma. And they might even find they can't get Moogie. KP's yeah. there. Moogie's way too tanky. X Nova's gonna port out. And uh, you know what? The best critical thing in that engagement was that Nigma even uses Midas before he dies, so no value was lost. <laughs> Looks like he will get caught here. Yeah, Kaka to pull him back in. And on the other side, Faith ends up being brought down by maybe. It's still a stun onto Rubik. They wanted to turn this one. He does have Maledic. He's able to throw that onto FY, but now with the ulti used, that's a dead Rubik and maybe soon to be a dead FY if he's not careful as well. KP, they bring in a couple more now. Able to find the net. The follow-up stun is going to be there as well. Witchshock rolls him down. The Kraken Shell. They wait for the Kraken Shell to proc before they go for the stun. It's still not enough, though. And now Moogie, he shows up also. Gets the Maledic on him. X Nova's starting to fall down. He does get caught in the trees, but it's for the life of Mugi. So LGD make it work yet again. And I mean, you're just looking around the map right now, and everywhere you look, the lanes are pushing in into Newbie's side of the map. The towers are falling, and it's incredibly difficult. If Ami Knight's not careful, he doesn't have mana right now for GA, and Ami is just running at this guy. Oh. They already take down Kaka, looking for more. And up here in the top lane, also able to do some damage. Looks like they are going to stop the chase for Faith. I think they really recognize how desperate of a situation they are, and, and they need to be actually aggressively initiating for some fights. Oh, this is a little bit scary. If LGD go into this, they don't know about the Blink Dagger for KP. They could go for a big play. Chalice looking for an opening as well. There's a Enigma there. They get to sleep. Uh -oh. They caught him out. They're all uh -oh. going to get the black hole on the three of them. There's no way to break this one. The damage, the follow-up, it might be enough. The Ravage to turn it. It only connects onto one, though, and Chalice, they don't have vision right here. They don't see anybody at all. Maybe Chase SC trying to run. He is done though as they catch out and kill off this Medusa Wait. most likely. Maybe trying to get out of there. KP is going to fall and SC goes down as well. Four dead and Faith, the last one left alive. They got completely owned. Look at Oh, and they see SC and they see Moogie. Th this wraparound is going to be tremendous. Smoke breaks. Now they realize that there's heroes over uh -oh. here. Chalice is in the area as well. They pop the dust. If they get song here. Oh, they might end up just going down. Mookie is going to get repelled. That keeps him alive for the moment. Which like our ultimate down. He's coming in from the south side. Oh, Kaka, yeah. he's just dead. 
KP, no man's land. They're going to find him yet again. Saw oh, no. on to three. We've seen on this four. already. Black hole. It's on to almost everybody. Faith. He does get the Guardian Angel off Mookie. They turn it around with the Ravage. It's a nice play as well. The BKB's out from Chalice. And X Nova starting to fall. But meanwhile, you look at the wolf. Big bad wolf hitting the building. It's off to the side. And also newbie. They can't even win the fight over there in the mid lane. They can't get, stay on to anybody. This don't have any lockdown. KP, he's going to turn here on to Ame, but the rest of LGD is walking into range, and KP is dead outside of the base. This is a complete and utter dismantling. I think this is a very poor showing of newbie. Um, every time, the, like the song into Black Hole, it's one of those things that you expect to see maybe once or twice in a game. But every time they have done it, they have gone three, three blend back low, right? This is absolutely insane. We haven't seen any Rubik steal. The positioning of Newbie has just been horrendous this game. And that's just one of the like basic stage chalice leading the way they are going to be able to find one stun they're going to have a second one to follow it up afterwards as well and now faith to follow with the slow brewmaster taking a lot of damage oh why the turn it's not enough trading farm yes mookie is very farm but there's not much they could do about that uh what what they are doing a very good job lgd is getting their own like tinker is getting farm and pl slowly but surely is also getting a little bit although if he gets caught here Oh, scary stuff indeed. They're coming in, and there's the oh. ice pad. They get the Ravage as well. They're both gone. Great play there. They take down Kaka, but losing Tinker hurts. I think Brewmaster was actually looking to teleport bottom. That was a very long TP. Um, had he teleported like, to base, he would have completed a TP before the KP Ravage came out. But good win here by uh, Newbie. Well, I'm looking at Tinker's items again, you know, right before you get into this, he finished the Boots of Travel at yep. least before he went down. That's a big thing. FY, Stormhammer to turn it, ends up stealing Plasma Field. We'll get one more off before he goes down. Oh, he won't be able to. Not enough mana. But Newbie starting to take advantage. You were talking about that need to get stuff done, yep. and they're making it happen. Although, again, maybe it's going to be there, and Tinker doesn't doing what he does best. <laughs> Being annoying. Yeah. That's what, what Tinker does best. Um, I mean, they might have gotten a couple of kills, but they need to translate it into objectives. And having Jakiro really helps. Oh, more damage now onto SC. They're almost able oh, to bring oh. him down the march. Ooh. By the skin of his teeth. Level 7 FY. They spot Kaka. And... Uh oh. Waiting for him to go back up. Top lane, there's some damage on the KP. Looks like they might still be going for a little bit of damage. They stole Sandstorm by the Rubik. And bottom lane, they are bringing him very low, very quickly. SC shows up, wants to turn this one. They still have the Bruce Blade going, but FY is going to die. And Kaka looking to try and escape from this one. They get the Hurl Boulder. One more hit. Chalice slowed. Is it going to be enough? They're trying to get him, but the Storm Terror comes out. Kaka going to be able to turn that one again and get the kill. And meanwhile, PL going for the Battle Fury build. Faith in some trouble with Dr. Ultimate, and he's gone. On, you know, keeping those side lanes pushed out continuously. As far as Tinker's concerned, uh, getting towards that Blink Dagger, still about a bit over a thousand gold to go for it. If you're Sven, we've talked about the danger of, you know, a Tinker Laser onto him. You've talked about the danger of the Brewmaster. Do you think about going for a BKB early after the Sanjanyasha? It depends on the trust of his teammates, right? Like, if if San King could keep getting these kind of initiation, as they're doing right here, then he gets to skip pretty much all of his items and go straight into the BKB and look to win with that BKB. Right. Um, if the initiations aren't coming along, then he might need to get a blink for himself. Anchor Smash Solon and both of the offlaners going to die at various points around the map. Is even Death Word being committed? Oh, and now Newbie realizing that there's an opportunity here. They're going right in for Roach. This is a big play. If they can make it happen, the DD on Sven is what's enabling this. And there's LGD no vision. Doesn't have an idea. Yeah, there's no vision. There's no wards anywhere. Seeing that Newbie just walked in. I don't know if they smoked in or not, but it's not going to get detected. Now oh, they're. they're they're yeah, teleporting yeah, in, yeah. but it's going to be too late. Movie's yeah. going to take it. They scan, and there's going to be the agent. Into a Shadow Blade. Pretty standard uh, transition for PL. Just allows them to be uh, very safe, split pushing, but also gives you the ability to transition into a Silver Edge down the line. 
to counter that uh, Kraken shell from the TIE Hunter. Oh, the Burrow jump strike? for Burrow Strike, they've been able to find him. Chalice in trouble and he's gone. Not being said, half wide does a lot of damage here and well, stealing the Burrow does some more to KP. The cast not gonna bounce anywhere. But the March of the Machines and the spam out coming from LGD might be able to force them back again. Another chance there. Just two tower down. This is a newbie timing that I was you know talking about. They're gonna just take all these outer towers, be much stronger than the LGD heroes. And I think they're looking to take another tier 2 before going home uh, to heal up. They are relatively low in HP. That urn coming into play now oh, making a lot of impact. Is, yeah, he's going to be found and that's an easy kill there. Newbie with this. Newbie? 10,000 gold lead at 20 minutes in. It doesn't feel as insurmountable as it was last game because you have this Tinker, you have the PL, the late game feels secure for LGD if they can get there. Yep. Their classic name and credo of come high ground. Like Aldi. That's uh, sometimes a joke name for LGD. Come to our high ground. Which uh, Mugi says, okay. Now they pull him back in though. Maybe a bit of a dangerous one. They get the Burrow Strike to try and turn it. FY, the damage is there. Ravage connects on to three. They're able to steal not Ravage. It was a Gutch instead. And that's the ulti popped as well for the Brewmaster. A lift up there onto one and well, continuing to get the out spam going. They dumped a lot to actually kill that Brewmaster. He ends up getting off his split anyways, but the split's going to end. And good split pushing here from Ame. That's going to force at least a Sanking back. Again, the name of the game here for LGD is just a delay. And hopefully Tinker and PL could outscale. Well, Ame runs into KP there. There's going to be a quick gush, and the doppelganger away. The slowdown, the ice Ooh. path, not going to be there. Very nice uh, rush here. To one Still, yep. it is a big mountain to climb. That net worth graph is going to be very, very tilted towards the newbie way. Now, for the most part, LGD is going to be kept in their base, and the, the game now becomes... Well, first of all, don't get caught. But second of all, how does your two core get out of the base and get farmed? Because mm -hmm. they won't win this game by sitting in their base. Right. They don't have, like, a, a super carry like Medusa. They have the blink on the Rubik to be able to pull him back in. There's the pull, maybe gets him. Kraken Shell Brock, the Phantom Rush forward, able to find, able to slow a newbie. In some trouble with KP. It's likely going to be going down here. Yeah, they got more than enough damage. That's a kill. KP. Uh, oh, this ward here by the Radiant might be enough to spot everything. out SC. Yeah. And FY now in vision as well. They're going to be able to get the Storm Hammer, try and turn. Burrow Strike there from Kaka. Gets the Sandstorm off as well. The lift, the turnaround. Kaka's dead. FY's still living. Yeah. They lifted up the Razor through this as well. The rest of Newbie hesitant to come in and take this fight as well. As the chase is continuing, they're finding SCCC. Forces out the BKB when he's already down to about a third HP. And now the slow, now the catch. KP has a Ravage, I believe. As they're thinking about chasing this one, X Nova on the other side, able to get the stun now onto the Sven. Another store hammer stolen, but they do take down that Witch Doctor. Taiso coming in, he has Ravage available, and they're looking for FY. FY, uh, Storm Hammer is back. Looks like he will get dropped down. Nice stun, but won't be able to do too much from it. Now Chalice gets an urn on him, so he can't blink. He actually can't actually use his ultimate either. He's going to get brought down. Triple kill for Mugi. Uh -oh. No buybacks on these heroes, and well, it's still the cores that live. But it's a scary time right now for LGD. Yep. All right, it's going to be just shoving down mid. Is that is that the play here? I guess all of Newbie is outside of their base, or rather, uh, all of LGD is outside their base. They're coming back now. Chalice found for the moment. Maybe. Oh, oh my goodness! Real close there. Mookie almost got him, but they do get the tier three tower. Glyph coming a second too late. SC Aghanim still working here. There's a cask bouncing and Burrow Strike off the oh, mark. They get the lift up, able to turn it back around. Oh my God. And why? The beautiful play. And now the lift up onto Moogie. He's controlled for the moment as well. Can they make anything else happen? While this is going on, they're also taking Barracks up in the bottom lane. PL is just going to hit away at this tower, and the rest of Newbie can't get away right here. If they could cancel some TP, that's going to be a big win. Of course, they still got to respect that Ravage. Blink forward with a clap. They're trying to slow people down. They got oh, Burrow Strike. 
Dude, and he's gonna so have coming back in with a cast. They're gonna get at least one Shakiro kill. Chalice might die here, but still, it's gonna be a big one. Rabbit's gonna be spent, but Ty's gonna go down. They slow. stole Ravage, it doesn't matter. Oh it's, it's my god. There. They're gonna follow S Triple C. That BKB's gonna be ending soon. FY, blinking forward. I don't know if he has enough mana. Yes, he does. The Rabbit's gonna be there. They're gonna win the C, but no, the cheese oh, from S Triple oh, C. FY, running ring around the ropey, but S Triple C's still in a lot of trouble. Maybe out of mana as well, but it's gonna be enough for one more Razor. They defend, they hold high ground, they've gotten the tier 3, they just traded! LGD says, like out the motherfuckers, we defended. <laughs> Let's show you what the high ground China is all about. Holy this is shit. 7,000 gold swing. Oh, That's that insane. One play. Oh, wait a minute. We've got another rotation in here from Newbie as they are all smoked up and looking okay. for an opening. LGD, they're backing out. How much seconds, how many seconds left on the Ravage steal on, on Rubik? I, I know it's like really well, low now. Uh, it's scary, Burrow oh, strike to get him. And Mugi, they're gonna end up finishing this kill. Yeah, Ravage was used and, and gone. All right, no more Ravage for FY. He's gonna push out that wave and then get back in again. This is a 4v5 defend without the Witch Stock there, which is a big part of, like, Maledict and, and Cask is key here. Look at the damage, though, already. They pull back in the Razor, and he is in trouble if he sticks around too much longer. The Aghanim Scepter is there, but it's not really dealing that much damage, and now Eye of the Storm is over. And that's it? That's a hold against a 4v5? Yeah, that smoke, it is tough to work with. If you can't find it, Roche back up, 19 seconds. 33 minutes in, it's still a 9,000 gold lead for Newbie. But, oh, the Orchid for Sven might make a difference as well. Yeah, just gives him more and more catch potential. Because uh, PL, oh. uh, Ame, walks into everybody. Just okay. going to run at SC. They bring in the Tinker as well. They need to be careful about this, though. They have Chalice now able to get off his ultimate. It's the BKB and the TP away for SC. And everybody else from Nubia is just getting the heck out of dodge. That's actually a So maybe Tinker with the Aghanim Scepter. And next, going for the Force Step, oh, wow. apparently. Wants to stay alive. Mugi, stun on the one. But now they find him. There's the lift. The Kaka turn. It's not there. The Ravage is out on the three, though. They're going to have enough to bring them both down. The Yule Sucker lift up. FY going to try and escape from this, but it was never going to be enough. Ame decides to show up. The great ulti is going to come out as well in the second. They're doing a ton of damage there. X Nova on the low ground. They're trying to jump away as well. Lasers are starting to really dismantle this lineup as Mugi is trying to chase. He takes down X Nova. Still on a lot of damage. They got to be careful chasing into the PL with the heart and the Ray. Uh, and the Tinker, the backline as well. Now Mugi moving forward. Ame just giving vision. S Triple C very low. Maybe he's going to grab a kill. Is he out of mana? He is. So I think the chase is about to be over. Tinker ports back in. But PL is not done yet. He's full mana pool. He's going up Mugi, making sure that Blink's cancel. Here comes the Tinker. He's going to have the burst damage. Mugi's going to go down to all of this. They want KP as well. They're not done yet. They're chasing Rin to the base. KP It's going to get brought down. Very tanky into the tier forwards. I think he might survive. He'll pop the greens for himself. So, oh, and oh, they he's out of mana. Strike. They need to get out of there. Yeah. Scary stuff, but a good oh. gauge, and now they've capped themselves the Tinker, the Ice Path follow-up. Ame goes back in. Epicenter on the two. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough to bring down Ame as well. It looks like the turn on the Faith. Ame trying to run. He's able to doppelganger away for the moment, and that regen coming back in as he has the Shadow Blade going. They dust. But he's still so walking, fast. and now the turn. He didn't get enough regen, I don't think. Ame, doppelganger into the high ground. Again, a runaway. The oh! Just barely going to connect, but challenge with the turnaround. The fight that never ends. They do end up losing Ame, so they bring down the PL. They're going to chase this uh, Earth Panda, right? I, mean, I think they will. Yeah, they can if they want to. Hakka's going to get lifted. FY's in the area, oh. too. This is scary stuff. He only stole dual breath, though. A blink away, realizing it's a little bit too scary. Now Chalice Ooh, with no. the blink. He didn't get to the low ground. FY again slow, again turn, again lift. And KP's still chasing, but there's the lift. And <laughs> oh, my God. Run. Saving Private Chalice. It's not over just yet, because KP's still coming, Kaka. Yeah, he's right, everyone there. blinks back out. How important is that Rax? The one Rax might not be important enough for the PL buyback. Now they're thinking about it at the very least for the moment. And the glyph at the last second. Tinker back up in four. They're going to make newbie commit for this. Chalice. All these heroes in the area, blink away, doesn't want to get caught, and now the damage is going to start to be dealt. They do still have, obviously, laser. It's pretty nice. The BKB comes out, though. They're able to catch on, too. This is going to be a second set of rack there. Look at the damage, though, coming out. Rubik was able to steal Fable as well, able to take away the Ice Path. Faith running away, going to be able to catch him and run forward for more. 
FY doesn't quite connect there. Race Path obviously such a great steal, and with Boots of Travel level 2, Tinker wants more, but not going to be able to find it. Yep. That is super unfortunate for LGD. They made all the right play, but that one kind of long chase scuffle, what ended up happening is they were down two Raxes. They can take down Roshan. That feels a lot better for LGD. Level 25 on PL, which means he's going to get towards that crit talent eventually. If that's the route he decides to go. KP thinking about walking into this one. They've got a lot of damage. Chalice trying to break that initiation from going too far forward. He does have split. He does have Aether Lens. And A on this on, on Brewmaster. Oh yeah, A on this. That's what I meant. Not Aether Lens. SC still there. Mugi does have the stun if they want to go for it. He jumps in. Oh! Oh! Down as well. It's caught him down. The Aegis is on the ground. They're going to be able to pick it up. SC gets it. They got the Roach kill as well. LGD falling apart now. And well, another laser out. Some more stuns. The Bruise trying to run away. They might still be able to make this work though as Chalice trying to control and take down this Fen. He does not have the cleave. He's broken for the moment. So they're going to be able to turn onto this in a second. The Burrow Strike, it connects onto again that Witch Doctor brought down low. Ame wants to take down Mugi though. He got the oh. great, great Ravage to turn it. Is it enough? It's not going to be enough. Epicenter, Burrow Strike. It's a lot of magical damage. KP takes him down. It's Ame though who's too big, too bad, too out of control as maybe he's going to TP away. They burn through that Aegis and Ame trying to run yet again. A second Burrow Strike through there. No doppelganger. He's gone. I do believe the Refresher Shard was consumed in the middle of that fight as well by Sven, I think. He uh, got to use his BKB as well as God Strength a second time, uh, which was the reason why. Well, they're bringing back the Witch Doctor and the Rubik. Now, Kaka can still initiate if they want. Good blink away in some trouble. Not going to get caught. Another okay. laser, another combo. BKB is out from SC. They're going to be able to forward step away. Keeping him alive. Witch Doctor Ultimate as well is there. But the Jesus. jump forward, the laser, and the rockets might finally be enough as they got their sights on KP. And they're going to punch him in the face a few times as he's brought down here, I believe. Okay, that low <laughs> HP Greaves is giving him so much armor and reject. Actually, <laughs> okay, yeah, there you go. The end. Uh, I think when you're low HP, like below... I think 15%. If they get double Ravage, or even triple Eye of the Storm, you know. The old Scepter looked up, they found FY. Chalice, he gets stunned! They get the Bloodthorn off, but there's the A on this. That's a great play right there. FY oh, is going to go down. They kill him through it. That yeah. item is still Garbo. X Nova has that Lotus Orb also. Okay. We're here on the side, LFY, or rather LGD, do have some vision. Ame's looking as well, he's got that Nullifier. So. You were talking about it, looking forward towards Mugi. This would be a great pickoff if they can get it. They're gonna have a lift, there's gonna be a Nullifier. It comes out right at the start, he's broken as well, muted, stunned, but he's gonna be four steps away, still alive for the moment. Ooh. He's going to drop, no BKB out there, and now the call is go forward for more. Broken Tidehunter, he's gonna be stunned, he's gonna be ran down, it gets the Ravage off, maybe they can turn, they found the Tinker, he's fallen, maybe is dead in just a second. They bring him down. Razor buys back. Maybe buys back. They turn on the Chiro. They take him down as well. I mean, they spent all these buyback, but they're not doing anything with it. Critically, though, Tinker also bought back. So both teams now have new win conditions. Online. What's the cooldown on Oh Wait, hold on. We're going to have to hold that thought. Newbie, they want to come and contest this one. They don't have Ravage, though. Uh, they don't have the ability to go in there and jump for it. FY is going to be controlled, though. A good Burrow Strike through the stun on the two. Can they get any more? They manage to pick down and take out the Aegis. Chalice going to try and TP away. He does get out. Ame controlled for the moment, though, trying to uh -oh. doppelganger her away. Ame. He's stuck inside the base. They take down him through the Aegis. And now, maybe, up on the high ground, starting to deal out the damage. They don't have the checks and the gems on the ground! They decide to turn it back around, and they run away. The gem Wait, on the they ground. Wait, they found Tinker! Tinker. Strike, but they got him. They got him muted. They got him controlled. The force staff from the low ground may be able to play his way out of there. They're silenced on the PL, create all these illusions. He eats the seeds. He turns it back around. KP controlled. They're starting to fall down. Doppelganger away. Everybody from Newbie's oh dead. They're taking God. them all down, and LGT might finally have done it. How the hell did that Tinker... Oh, yeah, why is KP still alive? He Ravage? Can he blink out of here? He can't blink out of here. Oh my god, he's still alive. <laughs> <What? lost. laughs> Crack and shell talents, man. It's a hell of a drug. KP <laughs> might still die. He has a blink up again in a blink second. TP? Maybe he's chasing. Yeah, he he's jumps fine. away. Oh god, it hurts. <laughs> it was looking so good. How did maybe... Over the duration of this game. Maybe he's about to get too old here by... By LGD. Okay, Ame. Making his illusions, now assaulting the other Rax. Rax still holding strong for now. 
Ex Nova's here as well. They've got the backup that they need. FY able to steal away an ice path. That's a pretty good ability at taking KP. He is stunned. He is killed. He is in trouble. It has buyback though. Now can they turn this back around? Spen up in 20. Great ice path, landing a couple, but a better one here will find Oh, they got Kaka. He's dead for 90 seconds. They get the mute, they pull him back down. Razor in trouble, the cask is bouncing. They got him again, but another ice path is gonna keep him alive for a second from Shikiro. But now all the maledict damage. SC is dead, two minutes on the sidelines. Spence back. Newbie are gonna make this work. Spence are they gonna back. be able to get out of there? The laser, the ice path, X marks the spot of the destruction of Newbie as they try and run away. They manage to disjoint oh. the stun oh. They take down Tinker. He's dead for two minutes as well. They're starting to bring them down, but FY with the turnaround. They get the lift, they get the turn. KP falls. Ame still too big, too bad, and starting to kill off Mugi. Okay, Mugi's gonna go back to the fountain, get a little bit tree back. Chalice very low. Chalice looks like he's gonna get taken down by the Macro Pyre. FY comes in with his son, and now they X cross the Macro Pyre. <laughs> it's gonna get the kill. Jakiro's gonna buy it back. Okay, let's check the base. Base is gonna be in trouble. Mid Rax is already down. Bottom Rax is gonna get assaulted as well. Sven does not have God's strength. They, they definitely cannot defend. They're right Buying boots of travel on the oh spot. They're, going for, They're going for it. Sven in the base. He's okay. turning onto the tier fours. They need to break the TPs though. Kaka's there in the base. They turn towards Chalice. And they are going to be able to do this for the moment. So Sven. Oh man. There's okay. a lift up onto Kaka. Ame turns around with the BKB and is going to be able to bring him down. It was a brilliant play. Was but it not though? Brilliant enough. Maybe it wasn't <laughs> because he actually TP'd there, so they can't get back now. I mean, only Brewmaster pointed back for all things, so. Uh, but Mugi is trying to run back to base now, and okay. they're taking down the tier four yeah, towers. He's almost there. They, the wards see him coming in. The tier four is gonna get brought down. They know exactly where he's gonna be coming in from. The blink Bruce split on the building, and now they're gonna go south. They know that's gonna be the angle coming in, and it's gonna be Sven. Oh. He muted immediately. Does... Oh, they turned it back around. They they went out with the ghost scepter. Sven can't do anything here at all. They Steel War Cry, they turn on to the Ancient, and Newbie finishing this game off in style, or rather LGD finishing it off in style, turning on the Jakiro, muted, ran at, and killed off. Wicked Six Streak, Ame, a player and a half. I mean, the throw is so alive. Now, oh, Tinker's here though, oh, okay. and they get him now. There's the turn, there's the catch. SC has the BKB, but it's gonna wear off shortly as Ame beats away at this. They're able to, able to doppelganger away Wait. from that Ravage. They steal Ravage, oh, they turn it no. again around. Oh, on to Newbie, LGD, a slow win in the end, but they do take it as they take the throw and move on. What a win, what a win. Holy hell.